because in the last few days um, we're talking and covering the atrocities that are happening in the south of Israel, um, this war. I promised myself that I'm not going to be emotional because um, it's hard not to be emotional. Um, for me, it's personal. So when people are telling me, and when I hear that people are saying that what is happening in Israel is a lie, I cannot stay silent. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. Gosh. What is happening in Israel is truth, mm. an awful truth, a barbaric truth, a catastrophic truth. Never in my life I thought that I live to experience and listen to these kind of testimonies. Hmm. It's unbelievable. And you know, um, you probably saw the image that was uh, put today in the Daily Tele Telegraph of a baby, an innocent baby. And babies were burned you know what I'm saying? Even if it was one baby, how can you, how can you rape women and, and just spill out their bodies? Hmm. How can you do that? How can you burn an entire family, a mother, a father, two young, daughters and a baby how can you do that hmm. this is a genocide i never thought that me my family my friends will go through this hmm. it's a genocide and i'm so sorry because you know i'm a journalist and i'm supposed to be don't be sorry lucy do not be sorry i mean i don't even know i don't even understand what you're experiencing right now a lot of people are saying that people on the ground in israel will, will never be the same many people that i've spoken to feel that they will never be the same the country will never be the same after uh what happened on saturday i mean it, it's 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 awful it is uniquely horrific uniquely horrific in terms of the barbarity that your country experienced uh, on, on Saturday. And we are so sorry. Lucy, thank you for taking, for taking the time. I know this is painful. It continues to be painful. And thank you for staying so strong and continuing to do what you do and, and telling these stories every day as a journalist. I know you're also a mother, a wife, a human being, and you're just conveying the humanity mm -hmm. and the lack of humanity in all of these atrocities. This is a war of democracies that, and democracies need to understand that there is a limit to freedom of speech. And social media, yeah. the heads of social media platforms needs to join this fight. They need to join this fight because what is happening and the propaganda and the lies that people are spreading out there, this is another crime. So I'm asking you, as my colleagues, to stop the lies, because we cannot stand aside. This is, uh, yeah, and yeah. another world as a Muslim, this is not Islam. As a Muslim, as Arab, this is not Islam. What Hamas is doing in the name of religion, this is not being a Muslim. This is being a monster. Mm -hmm. And this is what people need to understand because God doesn't want that. If you believe in God, he doesn't we, want that. 